So you bring grinding hard to save up some amount of money, and your first goal was to have at least $10,000. Finally, after working for hours, you've made it. You have $10,000, and that's a lot of money. And now, what do you do with it? I'll tell you what you should do with it, and if you wanna become richer, the right answer is to invest. Here's how you should do that. I'm Munif Ali, I was a self-made multimillionaire in my early 20s, and I've built multiple brick and mortar companies with billions of dollars of sales. I started making videos like this to share my life experiences so that I could teach others to be more successful in life and in business. And if you like the type of content that I'm giving you, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, like the video, and share it with people who might find this useful. First of all, you will need to build your emergency funds first. The general rule is to have three months worth of savings, but I say six months, because today's inflation and various market crashes are going to definitely take its toll. So to be on the safer side of things, save up at least six months of reserves. Having a hefty amount of emergency funds will help you avoid taking out things like loans and using your credit cards to live off of. Using your loans and debts to definitely affect your long-term savings and investment plans and push you into high interest rates. So make sure you budget and make sure your monthly expenses are in check and then save up six months of that. So when crisis comes, you're already ready. Next, to make sure you pay off your debts with that $10,000. I always preach that in order for you to reach financial freedom, you must pay off your debts and focus on your savings, especially the debts with high interest rates. Always prioritize the high interest rate debts first because every month, if your interest rate is high, it's costing you a lot of money to pay down these debts when you should have been focused on investments. Also, you don't need to pay off everything all at once. If you need the money for other essentials, just focus on the high interest rates that will set you back in life and pay the long-term debts like mortgages gradually over time. Next is to research some of the retirement vehicles that are suitable to you in your life. Maybe you're interested in an IRA or an individual retirement account. Maybe you'd like to retire without tax deduction. You can choose a Roth IRA. It's safe and it's always easy to get your money back if an emergency arises. You can also choose a 401 with your company. Try asking your company what they can offer you for your retirement. Who knows? They might even match your 401k and let them pay it for you. Plus, you can still use that plan even if you're no longer with the company. There are plenty of options out out there for retirement funds. All you have to do is research and ask around and it's important that you start saving now for your retirement regardless of how old you are at this moment. And just a quick break, I have some really exciting news to share with you. I'm proud to say that I'm going to be releasing a book real soon. If you want to fulfill your dreams of becoming a multimillionaire, get this book right now and you won't regret every cent you spent on this book, especially for you younger investors. The right time to invest is right now, so regardless of your age, this book will help you no matter where you are in your financial journey. Go ahead and click that link down below to your first step on becoming a millionaire. And the best part about this is 100% of the proceeds will go towards charity. If you are enjoying our content, go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure to that like and subscribe button and let me and the algorithm know that this video was valuable to you. And I'll continue to bring you more content like this each and every week. And make sure you also hit that notification bell so when a new video comes out, you'll be notified. If you're feeling aggressive with your investment, aside from the IRA, you can also invest in index funds. And index funds let you have a savings account mixed in with the option to invest. And you can use whatever is left over now from that $10,000 for investment. If you don't mind long-term results, then you can use this to start an index fund. With this kind of a step up, you don't need to babysit the account and you could just leave it alone and have it accumulate interest based on the stock market's performance. You can also try opening up a brokerage account for individual stocks. It's advisable that you research on trial and tested businesses that have a long business history and you diversify your portfolio with stocks. Some stocks going up and fluctuating in value quickly, others are you know, long-term growth vehicles. But don't fret, some brokerage firms actually allow you to buy stocks in fractional shares. This means that you'll be able to diversify your portfolio easily since it's cheaper and less riskier to do so since you only need a small portion of cash to buy a small portion of the company. I recommend doing that with stable companies and if you want a higher rate of return, maybe go for newer and emerging industries and companies. It doesn't matter if you start small, it's about incrementally applying that rule over a long period of time. So those are my tips on how you can take your hard-earned $10,000 savings and apply it to investments. Remember the goal here is not to just become rich. It's hard to do that with just 10,000 bucks, but it's to improve your quality of life, to make sure that you're in 
investing wisely. Make sure you do your research and you know exactly what you're investing in. Start saving right now. My goal is to always help people reach their financial freedom by giving people financial literacy. You can achieve this by practicing the tips that I've just given you. If you want to learn more, here are some stories on how millionaires have built their wealth. Check out this video, 10 steps on how to build wealth from nothing. <laughs>